The Shortcut to Shred training program has the main goal of fat loss. However, because the program is designed with microcycles that use a periodized scheme, it also is great for building mass and for gaining a lot of strength while you're losing body fat. So who's it for? It's really for anyone, regardless of what your goal is. Obviously, the lower you are currently in body fat, the more extreme you can get your body fat levels down with this program. But for those of you who are over 20% fat, this is also a great program to get you down closer to that 10% mark, which is an impressive mark for anyone to be at. So really, this program is for anyone, regardless of where your starting point is and what your end goal is. But the main goal of this program is dropping more body fat while you're building muscle and getting stronger. The most critical aspect to the Shortcut to Shred program is cardio acceleration. That's the real key to dropping body fat. With cardio acceleration, you're gonna be doing cardio in between every single set. Now, cardio does not mean you gotta run across the gym, jump on a treadmill, jump on a stationary bike. It could be as simple as running in place right next to the bench. Whatever it is that's gonna keep you moving, whether it's jump roping, jumping jacks, dumbbell cleans, uh, kettlebell swings, whatever it is, you're gonna be moving for a minute. And what that does is it keeps your heart rate elevated for the entire workout. Keeping your heart rate elevated means you're gonna burn more calories during the workout. But the more critical aspect is what's gonna happen when the workout's over. Because of the cardio acceleration, it's allowing your metabolic rate to stay higher for longer while you're doing nothing. And this is where the real calorie burning adds up the rest of the day. So by doing cardio acceleration in between your weight training workouts, you not only burn more calories during the workout, but you burn more calories long after the workout's over. Now I recommend doing about a minute of cardio acceleration in between your sets during the Shirk of the Shred program. Those of you who are just getting into training, you can still perform cardio acceleration. Just go at a slower pace. And for those of you who find that a minute is just too long, you can start at 30 seconds, with the goal obviously being to gradually increase the time you spend on cardio acceleration each week. You basically want to go at the highest intensity that you can to maintain that minute of activity. But again, the intensity level is going to vary. If you do 20 to 30 minutes of straight cardio, you can only go at a certain intensity to maintain that length of the cardio workout. With cardio acceleration, because it's only a minute long, you can make each minute a much higher intensity, which means you're basically gonna end up doing 20 to 30 minutes of high intensity training. And that's a lot of fat burning. There's actually a number of reasons why cardio acceleration is so effective. One study from the University of California, Santa Cruz found when they had subjects perform a minute of cardio in between their weightlifting sets, they were better able to recover. One of the main reasons for this is due to the better blood flow that you're getting to the muscles. With cardio acceleration, as I mentioned, it's keeping your heart rate elevated. That means your heart's pumping out more blood, and that means more blood is going to your working muscles. That's gonna deliver more nutrients, it's gonna deliver more oxygen. These are all gonna enhance your muscles' ability to generate energy and continue going for the workout. So a lot of people think, well, with cardio acceleration, it's gonna wipe me out and I'm not gonna be able to lift as much. You'll actually find that as you get accustomed to cardio acceleration, your strength really isn't affected at all. And in many cases, it's actually enhanced because like I said, you've got better blood flow going to the muscles and this actually can enhance your muscle endurance on a set and your muscle strength as well. Now the exercise selection for your cardio acceleration doesn't matter. Like I said, you can run in place, you can do step ups on the bench, uh, you can use dumbbells, do dumbbell cleans, you can use kettlebells, do kettlebell swings, whatever is going to work in the area that you have. Now, some people ask me, well, if I start with dumbbell cleans, does that mean I have to do dumbbell cleans the entire workout? No, you can vary it from exercise to exercise, like I said, whatever works best. The more variety you have, the better. 
It's going to keep you from getting bored, uh, and that's going to make a big difference with sticking with the program, and you'll get better results with better variety in your cardio acceleration exercises. We provide a full list of all the Shortcut to Shred approved cardio acceleration exercises that you can do on the page below. Weight training is a critical component to shedding body fat while also obviously building muscle and strength. Research shows that when you train with heavier weight for fewer reps, although you burn fewer calories during the workout, you maintain your metabolic rate much higher and for much longer after the workout's over than when you train with lighter weight for higher reps. However, the benefit of training with lighter weight for higher reps is you burn more calories during the actual workout. On the Shortcut to Shred program, you'll be training with both low reps and heavy weight and high reps with lighter weight. Those of you who are familiar with Shortcut to Size will recognize some of the similarities in Shortcut to Shred, and that's the linear periodization model uh, that I've used. With linear periodization, you basically start with lighter weight for higher reps, and then progressively increase the weight while you decrease your rep ranges. However, I've thrown in another component, which is called reverse linear periodization. It means you're going in the opposite direction, so you're starting with a heavier weight for fewer reps and then progressively getting lighter in weight and increasing the rep range as you go. So combining both of these periodization models helps you to not only get stronger, build muscle, but also lose body fat. Now let's get into a complete breakdown of the Shortcut to Shred training program. Shortcut to Shred is a six-week program that's broken down into two phases. Each phase is three weeks or three microcycles. What's a microcycle? Well, a microcycle refers to the specific rep range that you're using for that period of time. In this case, microcycles last one week. So every week on the program, you're changing up the rep ranges but you're gonna be training each muscle group twice per week. The split goes that the first half of the week, the first three days, in week one, or microcycle one, you're mainly using multi-joint uh, exercises. You'll be using a weight that limits you to nine to 11 reps per set. The second half of the week, those last three workouts, you're gonna be focusing more on single joint exercises. You'll be using a weight that allows you to complete 12 to 15 reps per set. Then we move into week two, or microcycle two. Now, those first three workouts, we increase the weight so that reps drop down into the six to eight rep range. However, in that second half of the week, those last three workouts, we decrease the weight. Weight gets lighter, and now the reps jump up to 16 to 20 reps per set. Next, we move into week three, which is the final week or final microcycle of phase one. Now, in that first half of the week, weight gets heavier again. Now we're dropping the rep range down to as low as two to five reps per set. This is really gonna increase strength. And then in that second half of the week, we're doing the opposite again, decreasing the weight, so now weight's getting lighter, and our rep ranges are jumping way up there. They're going up to 21 to 30 reps per set. You're really gonna feel the burn during this microcycle. And then you do this for two phases. Each phase lasts three weeks. So you go through three weeks of this periodization and then you repeat it during that second phase. However, in phase two, you're gonna notice you're a lot stronger on both parts of the week. Other things you're gonna notice is your ability to handle the cardio acceleration. As your body adapts to the cardio acceleration and your body's ability to recover between sets after that cardio acceleration, exercise, you're gonna find that these workouts are getting even easier and that you're not out of breath as you were during phase one. So what I recommend you doing here is either 
boost that intensity in those cardio acceleration exercises, or you can even increase the time you spend with cardio acceleration. I'm not a firm believer in overtraining. Yes, it is possible to overtrain. Most of us following Shrunk at the Shred are literally sitting on our asses all day long at a job, at school. We really don't do much. Going to the gym for an hour a day is not going to lead to overtraining, even if you're doing it six days a week. Plus, with the diet and supplementation that I've provided, it's gonna maximize your recovery so that you can handle these workouts. Now, the other question I get is, well, I'm still sore, my chest is still sore from Monday and now it's Thursday and I gotta do chest again. Is it okay to train it again when I'm sore? Because I heard that you can't train a sore muscle or it's not gonna be able to recover. That's absolutely false. Research has shown that when you train a sore muscle, those muscle fibers that have been damaged do not uh, incur any more damage in that second workout. In fact, that second workout may actually enhance the recovery of that muscle and get bigger and stronger even faster. So don't worry about overtraining. Look, if you want real results, this is the type of intensity and frequency that you need to train at to get these results in six weeks. You won't overtrain. One thing I highly recommend that you do is to make sure you keep a training journal. This will allow you to record the weight that you're using for those specific rep ranges so that you can see how much stronger you are. And if you can get an accurate body fat percentage reading, either using a skinfold caliper by a trained professional or underwater weighing, then I highly recommend it. And I also recommend taking before and after photos, even if it's just for yourself. The changes are gonna be so rapid that you may not really notice the day-to-day -day changes. However, when you go back after three weeks and see the difference, and then after six weeks, it's quite amazing. The best way to track your progress, your workouts, your before and after photos, your body weight, is by logging into your body space account. That's it for Shortcut to Shred training. So to get the nutrition video, supplementation video, and workout examples, be sure to check out the page below.